Well, through my eyes, it's not a loss to me. As long as I go out there, I give 110%, I give everything I have, then I'm still a winner, regardless if I come away uh, without the decision on paper. It's like a rematch against him? I've asked Gonzalez for a rematch. Uh, it's not in the uh, immediate future. Well, it helps me a lot, you know, because then I fought like the number two guy in the world. It puts me on a level of knowing I can't let a guy like Julian Lello beat me. I don't care who we are in this backyard. This is a critical fight for both men. They bring a lot of power. So how do Letterlow and King see it playing out? <laughs> I think what he does well is be in front of me. It's like the excellent, the perfect gentleman for me. I don't I don't have any any predictions or anything. Uh, for this fight. I just want to go out there. I want to uh, keep my chin tucked, and I want to fight. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm concerned about doing right now, just fighting. Earlier in the week, King was quoted as saying it won't go the distance, there'll be a knockout. Why does King feel that way? I don't really come for a decision because he doesn't come for one, so this is a rock'em, sock'em fight. You know, it's just not about who has the most intelligence in the ring, which by far most would be me. He says that he doesn't expect the fight to end in a decision. Well, if he's coming here to get knocked out, then we shall give him that. That is a breakdown of tonight's main event. Now for the strategy, it's Atlas's world. So both Julian Letterlo and Cody King think they can knock the other out. And I think one of them will be right. But what should their battle plans be? For let alone number one, throw your right hand. King has a habit of dropping his left after he jab, so Julian must pitch right hands and make Cotty pay. Number two, avoid his right hand. Now the other side of the corner is that King's best punch is his right hand. So after you, Julian, throw your jab, you can't pose. You must use that same left hand to avoid King's big right. Number three, bang the drum. When your opponent lays in front of you, bang his body, so movement later on will be difficult for him. Hitting his body will take away his legs. For King, your battle plan should go like this. Number one, use your jab to set up right hand straight down the middle inside Letterlow's wide punches. Number two, roll and rock. Roll back with your right shoulder to make his jab miss, then rock him with straight rights. Number three, use your wheels. Letterlow is powerful, but he's also slow-footed. Move and keep him off balance. All right, that is Atlas's world. Teddy, now let's take a look. I, I'm a fan of rock and roll, but you say roll and rock. All right, so you be Cotty King. I'm Julian Letterlow. How is he going to roll and rock? And it's not the beer. All right, there you go. Okay, what he's going to do is he's going to roll back his right shoulder when he sees that jab coming, take that away, and bop, come right back with that right hand. Roll and rock. Not Miller High Life? No. Well, yes, <laughs> Miller High Life is the better beer. All right. That is a champion beer. Will he is a guy that is just relentless. Went down in rounds one and rounds 11 against Gonzalez. Was knocked down in rounds two and three against Jenkins. The left hook is bread and butter. And he starts off with a double left hook. King has been knocked out twice. Mikulszewski stopped him, and earlier in his career, Courtney Butler stopped him in the sixth round. Look for right hands on both sides of the coin to be a big part of this fight. Hey, another thing that could be a factor, King told us yesterday that he likes to drop out, drop weight, dry out right before the fight. He was a little upset that he wasn't flown in on Wednesday, came in yesterday. But more importantly, in Pennsylvania, you weigh in the morning of the fight. So rather than weighing in last night, as normally is the case, and then replenishing his system, he had to wait until this morning at 9 a.m. And where that can hurt him is in fight strategy, the style of the fight. He's able to move more than the slower-footed let alone, and the heavy-handed let alone. I believe King needs to use his legs. He may not be able to do that, at least not consistently throughout the night. If he's been weakened by making weight, he may have to stand in front like that. If he does that, he's going to have problems with the heavy handed, tough, let alone. Let alone should bang that body, Bob, on the inside. So if King does have any thoughts of using his legs later, he will take those thoughts away from him. They said, right hands, I believe, 
going to be a big part of this fight. Don't punch on both punch sides. Him. King's best punch is the right hand. Let alone sometimes we'll leave that left hand out there. Pose after each jab. Get hit with right hands. And King gets hit with right hands. He'll leave his left hand out like that right hand. That just missed from Mr. K.O. Oh, there's a bad cut, it looks like, on the right eyelid of King. Looks like a cut on the right eyelid of Cotty King. Steve Smoger taking a look at it. Don't know if it was from a punch or from a clash of heads. I'm not sure if it's... The cut is only from King or, or if Letalo is also cut. Now that could be a factor. We'll get the ruling in between rounds one and two because it is a factor. There's an accidental clash of heads. This fight has to go four rounds. I believe Letalo may be cut on the right side of his head also. Nice double left hand there by Letalo. Here's where the headbutt occurred. Right there, after the Letterlow right hand, the heads came together. So here's the deal. King is cut on the right eyelid. And Letterlow is cut... Looks like on his right side. Time! Time! And Steve Smoger is checking on that cut. Letterlow jumps in with a left hook. Not a bad idea when a guy's cut on his right side. Might not see that one coming from that side. Absolutely right, especially when the cut is above the eye. They could go into the eye and pair the vision. And so far, King is fighting. Let alone fight. Let alone a little cement footed. Huge at heart. Huge in both hands and both power. He likes guys to lay in front of him. Right hand by Let alone. Well, King said that Letterlow being right in front of him played into his hands. It's not to this point. The only danger for Letterlow is as he comes in, right there. Where King, before Letterlow gets all the way in, will look to counterpunch. Once Letterlow's in, he's home safe. The danger is as he comes in, right there. That's it, Bob. He got in close, and he landed, as you said, the bread and butter left hook. Let alone can bang. You do not stand in front of Let alone, unless you want to have a good chance of getting knocked out. 134 of round two. We talked about Letterlow's left hook. And what a perfect counter shot. Mr. KO living up to his reputation. King tried a left. But his was not fast enough. What's that old saying? Don't hook with a hooker. Especially if your right hand is not up. His right hand was a little down. King hooked with the powerful Letalo. Letalo's hook got there first. If you're going to hook with a guy, make sure yours is a little shorter and your right hand is up. As we said, once Letterlow got in close, it was his territory. He knew what to do. Unload bombs. He is Mr. Excitement. I agree with you, Max. Not Mr. KO, Mr. Excitement. Julian Letterlow. Give this guy a money fight. Well, let him keep fighting every week on our network. Cotty King said someone is going to get knocked out in this fight. It will not go the distance. He'll knock me out or I'll knock him out. Well, a counter left hook from Julian Letterlow ends this fight.
at 134 of round two. Right there. Boom. King was out. Headed the canvas. Tried to get back up. Staggered. They're getting King up in stages. That's what you do. It appears Cotty King is okay. They do a good job here with the commissioner, Greg Serb. No doubt about it. They look out for the fighters. They were both throwing left hooks. Kings was a little longer, a little slower. Letterlow's landed first. We will talk with Julian Letterlow. Another impressive performance. He's now 17, 1-1, one one, 16 stoppages as he stops King in round two. Here's Brian and Max. See, we don't make this stuff up. I mean, <laughs> we, we knew he'd be doing something spectacular. And by the way, the guy he lost to, Julio Gonzalez, gets Roy Jones Jr. next. By the way, Gonzalez went down much in the same fashion, crawled back up just to get that decision. So Letterlo has done this to a lot of guys. Gun I would love to see Letterlo in there with a guy like James Butler oh. for the all-knockout war of, of all time on Friday night fights. The guy is pure excitement. He gets into a certain range where he can get some of his punches smothered. And guys feel kind of comfortable in there in that range because they feel they're smothering his punches. But as soon as he gets extension on one shot, that's all she wrote. I mean, the guy is just, uh, just an unbelievably exciting fighter. If you hear he's fighting, you never want to miss it. And by the way, we have a guy who he was in a war with coming up pretty soon on Friday Night Fights, or is it Tuesday, Demetrius Jenkins. <laughs> another guy, Demetrius Jenkins, who just goes right to war. And see, another thing is when he's in there with a guy like Gonzalez and he's losing on points, he's fighting the same fight. I admire that about a guy. You're not getting frustrated. He's, I'm coming at you. And he says, I'm not in a mood for no decision. He was in no mood for it tonight. And, and, you, and he had the decision against Gonzalez partly because they're similar types of fighters. Not only are they good punchers and they show up to fight, but they have real heart. Not front-runner heart where they're doing well and, they, and when they don't do so well, they give up. No. Gonzalez was knocked out by Julian Letterlow. It was the 11th round. It was the 10th or the 11th round. Letterlow cracked him. Gonzalez fell, and it was the kind of knockdown where you watch it, you go, the fight's over, he's not getting up, and somehow picked himself up, refused to let Letterlow impose his will on him. It was just an unbelievable war, but Letterlow has that, just that same type of heart, and he showed it against Demetrius Jenkins on his first fight on Friday Night Fights, which was another tremendous war. Julian Letterlow with another knockout win right now. They're all ready for him. They have him in the ring. Let's go back to Bob and Teddy with the winner in tonight's main event, Julian Letterlow. Bye. Mr. Excitement, Mr. K.O., Julian Letterlow, and uh, boy, he stood right in front of you in that bread and butter left hook. You timed it perfectly. Uh, what did you see that you were able to land that punch so effectively? First of all, I want to thank God for giving me the strength and the talent that I have to be able to do this. Secondly, before I answer that question, I just want to say this fight is dedicated to anybody who's ever been locked up in a penitentiary, who's on lockdown now. This goes out to y'all and my father who just passed, Wayne Williams. God bless him. Now. Uh, as far as that fight is concerned there, uh, I watched the tape very carefully. Uh, I noticed that uh, Mr. King is a guy who will come straight to you. He'll stand right in front of you, which is a picture-perfect fight for me. Uh, if a guy's going to do that to me all day long, I I'm going to bang him up all day long. And, of course, you're going to see a, a technical Mr. K.O. knockout. Okay. Julian, the only danger zone for you, as I saw it, was when you were first coming in. He was looking to catch you with a sneaky counter as you first came in. Once you got into the pocket, it was all you. Exactly. Um, I, I noticed that myself. I wasn't thinking at first. I was, I was kind of like feeling him out. And then I, I, I asked myself, why am I feeling you out when I already know? All I got to do is stay in your chest or straight on the outside. I want the pressure on you. You know what I mean? I'm going to put pressure on you and see just how much of this pressure you can take. And if you can take it, then I'll back up off you and reevaluate the situation. However, I didn't have to do that because you see we have a Mr. K.O. knockout this evening. Are you going to change your nickname from Mr. K.O. to Mr. Excitement? Why should I? <laughs> you what, are excited. What's Thank next you. for you, Julian? Uh, we, we'll go back to the bases. We'll go back to the drawing board and everything from the beginning, and we'll work from there. All right, picture perfect. Counter left hand. Julian Letterlow starches. Thank you. Cotty King at 134 of round number two. A picture perfect punch for Mr. K.O. He continues to roll on. More of Friday Night Fights after this.